Welcome to the FF Locker Room Quarterback Rankings for week number five. Uh, of course, we have Peyton Manning, number one. Uh, my good buddy Tim Renner said something about a boat race in Dallas this week. Uh, yeah, I think Manning's going to be okay. Obviously, yeah, they are just on another planet right now. That's why Peyton Manning's number one. Number two, I have Matthew Stafford. Uh, they're playing Green Bay. That Green Bay defense is, well, literally Swiss cheese. That's, I know for lack of a better term, but that's what they are. Anybody can throw on this team. I think I could throw for 100 yards against this team. Uh, they're just very bad in the secondary. Oh, and guess what? Detroit has a guy named uh, Kelvin Johnson. Yeah, yeah I think Matthew Stafford is going to be all right. Start your Lions. Start Joint Bell. Start Reggie Bush. Start Pettigrew if you have to. I know he hasn't had done anything this year, but... You're going to be okay against that Packers defense. That's why Matthew Stafford's number two. Number three, I have Aaron Rodgers. Uh, this is just kind of a respect thing. I think this Detroit defense does a lot of good things. Um, but I think he knows them too, and he's going to put up some big numbers as well. This is going to be a shootout in Green Bay. Number four, I have Phillip Rivers. This is the highest I've had him rated all year long, but they're playing the Oakland Raiders, and uh, yeah, he's another another boat race game here, I believe. Uh, this is yeah, I just I think it's going to be ugly. San Diego will never never take take a pass at a chance at burying the Raiders, and I think that's what's going to happen this week. I got Drew Brees at number five. I'm not crazy about it, but I, he plays a tough Chicago defense. I've just been so impressed with them, and. Uh, I think if you look what uh, Darren Sproles did on Monday night and what Reggie Bush was able to do against the Bears last week, I think that's a big reason why Breeze is going to be successful. Uh, the Bears didn't have an answer for Bush, and Sproles can be that same kind of factor in this offense. And that's going to open things up for uh, Jimmy Graham and Marcus Colston. So obviously... Breeze is going to have a good game no matter who he plays. Um, maybe at Seattle would probably be his toughest matchup. But yeah, that's Breeze at number five. Number six, I have Michael Vick. I know some people have him rated a little bit higher. But I just think with a division game, there's going to be turnovers. There's going to be big twists in this game. And I think the Giants are actually going to get off the schneid and win this game. That's why I have Vick at six and I have Eli at seven. I think this could be... Somewhat of a shootout, but I think it could also be a very low-scoring game, too. Um, just, you know, they're going to trade punches of one kind or the other, and that's why I have those two rated that high. Um, Tom Brady at Cincinnati, I have at number eight. Cincinnati's not, has not been as good a defense as I expected, and I think Breeze is going to, excuse me, Tom Brady is going to have a very, very good day. Uh, Sam Bradford, I know a lot of people are spouting about the Rams at Jacksonville, playing Jacksonville this week, but I just I have not been impressed with the Rams. They've just been absolutely obliterated the last two weeks. And I know Jacksonville's not great, but they're getting Justin Blackman back, and uh, you know if they can keep stay on the keep their field on the offense and limit Sam Bradford's uh, plays, I think I think this could actually be a decent game, and I, and I think Sam Bradford should have a good game, and if he doesn't, uh, this Rams team is going down the tubes. Unfortunately, if he does not, uh, Russell Wilson have fourteen. They're at Indianapolis. I think this is a going to be a very good game. I guess counterpart Luck at number 22. Um, yeah, I think this is just going to be a very good game to watch. We're going to really see what this Colts team is made of. Obviously, we know that Seattle can do just about anything at any time. Uh, but this is going to be a very interesting matchup. Uh, don't sleep on Ryan Tannehill. I know he had a bad game on Monday night, but... Those two, two of those second half picks were not his fault at all. Um, they're gonna recover from this and be quite well. Tannehill is not not the kind of kid that's gonna walk around hanging his head. He's gonna get up for the next game and uh, do what he can to help his team be successful. They're, I mean, they're just they just have the one loss, and I look for them to bounce back in a big way and beat Baltimore definitely. That's why I have Tannehill at 15. Brian Horrid playing playing tonight in Thursday night matchup at Buffalo. I got him 19. Really like what this guy's been doing so far, and I think Buffalo's defense um, is not 
it's not as good as it was at the beginning of the year. I think they were kind of smoking mirrors, and now they're taking a step back. And I think Hoyer is going to be the kind of player that could exploit that. Uh, Terrell Pryor, I have at 17. I, I hope, really hope he plays because the Raiders need him. Um, but he could do some good things. And and remember, the Cincinnati, or excuse me, the San Diego defense is, I think, third worst against against the third worst total defense, giving up 430-some yards per contest. Um, some some deep sleepers. I kind of like Ryan Fitzpatrick against the Chiefs. I know it sounds crazy because the Chiefs are undefeated, but I think that he might be able to do something. I mean, this isn't a rookie going out there starting his first game. This guy has experience, and this team is going to go out there, and they're going to trust him. And, uh, yeah, I like what like what Nate Washington's been doing there too, so he definitely has weapons. That's why I have Ryan Fitzpatrick as my dark horse. This has been the FF Locker Room Quarterback Rankings for week number five. Have a great weekend, and we will see you next week. Make sure you check out the FF Locker Room website. Click the FF Locker Room TV tab and watch the Tuesday night breakdown by Brandon Berg and John Stolberg this week. It was absolutely amazing. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Join the flock. FFLockroom.com